The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded right around the eight. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. Fields passing on the first play from scrimmage. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's more. The game's first play produces six yards. Brings up second down. Play action. It's Fields. Out to his left. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Fields, we know he has the good mobility. He flashes it there as he scrambles for the first down. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain. So when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Back to throw. Fields. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Field's going to keep it once more. Oh, it shifts past him. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. A big-time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. So this play, you know, until recently, only something you'd probably expect to see in a college game. But running quarterbacks are certainly in vogue, and this turned into a big play. And you and I both know that for a long time, coaches worried about their quarterbacks taking too much punishment running plays like this, and they still worry about it. But when you can break off big chunks of yardage like that, it's worth the risk. Plus, you're coaching that quarterback to see those guys coming and get down before the big hit occurs. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Field's going to take this himself. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. He'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. Now that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop it. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Deontay Foreman taking it in from a yard out. And the Bears put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense can miss too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon, and this time, he had the speed to win that race. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And he's got it to make it 7 0 in favor of the Bears. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was finished off by Deontay Foreman on the touchdown run. Here's Jones, throwing to start the drive. 
Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Now Jones over the middle, and it's incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. Jones. Complete Hunter Henry with a grab. And he will have a Patriots first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. And already down seven to nothing after the touchdown a minute ago. So a three and out here would not be ideal for them. Nice job finding his receiver there. And they get the first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run it. This is Ramondre Stevenson. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Off play action, Jones. He'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. Two yards, good enough for a first. motion before the snap and this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings a false start backs him up five first and 15 looking to throw nowhere to go here he lost the football Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Back to throw, Jones. Open man, completes it to Smith-Schuster. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And they're gonna be staring at a third and long here. So their defense gave up the opening drive touchdown, and now, Charles, they're gonna look to work this ball down the field and get the equalizer. Yeah, there's gotta be a little bit of balance in how you're thinking and how you're approaching this game because the way things go in the NFL today, that opening touchdown often changes your strategy. You feel like you have to match everything right here, right now. But I like the way they're being methodical on offense here in their first drive, hoping to get the equalizer, but not forcing anything. Nice job there, forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game, watching him try to take away that area of the field. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. Here comes Pettis on the return. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And they will take over first and 10. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. A run by Foreman to start the drive. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. 
That was a good forceful run, and it demonstrates why you've got to put your body on a runner when you're trying to tackle him. If you just go in there and just try and get him down with arm tackles, usually doesn't work very well, and we saw on that play, he'll run right through those attempted plays. Here's a first carry for Khalil Herbert, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run, worked out well. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Nine yards that time. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. Here's Fields. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Okay, so now the question, how did he get that wide open? Well, we both know that he shouldn't because from the time they handed out scouting reports before this game, he was circled, starred, everything. Find him, cover him. But sometimes you can scheme a guy open. You put the receivers in a bunch. Maybe you move some motion. Maybe you put them on the backside of a formation, and all of a sudden you've got a better matchup. Every now and then, the offensive guys, they figure a way to get him open, even with everyone keeping eyes on him. And that's certainly a guy they want to keep trying to scheme open. Here's a give to Herbert. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Now Fields. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Here's Fields. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. This is Herbert. And some room to work. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Khalil Herbert, 40 yards. And the Bears have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, Defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing.
after the touchdown. Here's Santos to kick this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. From the 39, Jones. That's gonna be knocked away and incomplete. He came through well with a nice pass break up there. Fortunate that he was on the spot. He's the only guy left to prevent the first down. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Throwing, Jones. Throw left side complete. That's Stevenson. And he will have a Patriots first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Stevenson now on first and 10. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. They'll look to Gesicki on the out route. Ball is caught. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. What a dimension this man brings to this defense. He had his mind set there that he was going to get in and make that tackle. He really flew to the football. So first and 10 now from the 30. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. To throw on second and six, Jones. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. New England on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. Here it's third and two. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. To the right side, this is Stevenson. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. The last run got six, now second and four. Operating from the gun, Jones. And incomplete. Yeah. 
Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Looking to throw. Jones. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. The Patriots will bring on the field goal unit. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. Now that's something of a pick-me-up. The offense certainly has struggled, but they do get the field goal before half to put three on the board. Yeah, you don't want to be shut out, but let's face it. Those three points, that's not going to solve all their problems either. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From the 10. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Chicago offense set to get started. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three, because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Looking to throw again on second down. Fields. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Seven yards there and a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. To throw his fields. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. The touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Fields throwing again. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A gain there of 30 big ones. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Fields now to throw. Being chased out left. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Second and seven. Back to throw. Fields. Touchdown, Bears! Chase Claypool, 30 yards. And the Bears will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word, if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down.
Santos now to add the PAT. And it's 21 to three. So the drive there took six plays. And it was finished off by the Chase Claypool touchdown catch. After the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. From the 10. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. Now Jones throwing to start the drive. And this is Parker complete. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing again on second down. Jones. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Coverage was great everywhere that time. He tried to get it to his outlet, tried to get it to his running back, but sailed it a little bit too high and actually left his body open for a big hit. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Back to throw again. His throw incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They'll look to throw again. On the sideline, did he keep his feet in bounds? They say yes. Great job, both feet in, first down. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He's got a man, complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. The Patriots will bring on the field goal unit. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good, and that'll get the deficit down to 15. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half.
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Fielded right around the eighth. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game. An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. This one swung out to Montgomery. And from the 25, they work this to the 29. A gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. They'll try the left side with Stevenson. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Call it a gain of five as they move the sticks. A dependable running back is a coordinator's best friend. Someone you can trust in those situations to push forward and get the yardage you need however possible. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, it's a give to Montgomery. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. A give for Stevenson, running right. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. Defense doing their job, really nowhere to run the football. Yeah, it's almost textbook, wasn't it? Every place he tried to find an open spot, there just wasn't one. Congrats to the defense, no game. Call fitting your gaps, right? I love it. You're exactly right. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 36. They run once more with Stevenson. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone.
They go play action here on first down. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball, how much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Here's Stevenson. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard that time, second and goal. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. Stevenson again. And this time he'll run into a wall right at the four-yard line. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. Yeah, not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. Jones going to throw on third and goal. Touchdown, Patriots! Juju Smith-Schuster from four yards out. And the Pats are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goal means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. So the lead trim down to eight as here comes the kickoff and it's away. From the 10. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard line. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. A throw left side to start the drive is complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. They hit that crossing route really well. Excellent timing, puts it right on him, and he keeps running. Yeah, turned it upfield for good yardage. They run the option here on first and 10. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. From the 39. Fields. And this throw will be intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And the Patriots will take over here just shy of the 30. Jones in the Pats now with a first and 10. Just shy of the 30. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I can dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. Let's go, let's go, fellas. Let's go, baby. 
Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. Only three yards on the pickup. They'll be left staring at a third and 14. Not the start to the drive they were hoping for. That run doesn't get them much at all. No, not at all. That leaves them with third and long, which means you've got to dial up something pretty good. Think your best player with a play that he likes to run best. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Back now at Soldier Field. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at about the 32. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Now a first down throw, Fields. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. First down for the Bears, a gain of 15. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. You have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. On first and 10, it's Herbert. And he gets it down to the 32. 50 yards on the ground for him so far. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock, and this is second and less than a yard. Now a handoff up the middle. Foreman. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Fields on first down. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. How good has he been throwing the football, though? And despite that incompletion, that's just the third time he's been off target this entire game. And Brandon, I've been on the other side of this equation, trying to defend a guy who's been this hot, and it chips away at your confidence. And when you're not confident when you're trying to defend, it makes you slower to the football, and it leads to more completions for them. Second and 10, fields again. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. A handoff for Herbert. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. From the gun, here's Fields. 
to the sideline. And wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it brings up third and five now. Back to throw. Fields looking for his running back, and he's got him. And it's not going to be enough here. A gain of four, about two feet short of the marker. Fourth down. Always important as a defender on third down to keep the play in front of you and make sure you don't give up enough space that they can make a move on you in the open field. Try as he might, he wasn't able to get to the first down marker. Excellent defense, good tackling. They'll run for it. This is Foreman. Oh, a good move at the five. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. A big one there. That gives them a little cushion and makes it a two-score game. Yeah, bled a little time off the clock, put some points on the board. It's not totally out of reach yet, but it has... to Montgomery to begin the drive. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give him a lot of confidence to help turn things around. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now Jones. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. The offense on third down tonight, they've been really good, converting seven of their ten tries. This time it's third and three. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. There'll be a loss of six yards on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They'll run here with Herbert. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. 59 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Throwing on second and three. Fields. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking to get that one to D.J. Moore, and it's third and short. Fields. To the sideline, and oh, that's well done. Able to drag the feet, he's going to have the first down. And they pick up the first down there with a gain of four. They'll run, it's Herbert. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Hey, what we got? 
I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. They'll run with Foreman. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. On third down, Herbert, and he's going to be taken down right at the line. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. No fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. After the main field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. So now Jones and the Patriots down by two touchdowns. Just over a minute, 40 to play. Jones, field goals useless at this point. They need two touchdowns, and they need them in short order. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Well, an unfortunate time for the penalty there. That cancels out a positive play from this offense. Well, not to sound too trite or too accepting, but you and I both know it happens. You got to accept it and move on. Yardage, you got to get back. Focus on the next play and move on. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, they've certainly had trouble unlocking this defense through three and a half quarters, so I don't expect it to get any easier now. You know they're going to be sitting back and waiting on everything, and they force an incompletion there. Jones. And yeah, this is caught by Parker. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. To throw is Jones. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Eddie Jackson picks it. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. And that pick six, that was the first turnover forced by the defense in this ballgame, CD. And what's even better is when they finally forced one, they kept the effort up and were able to return it for a score. They could hear their defensive coaches saying to them, hey, getting the interception's great. Can you do more with it? Turn it into a big play. And they did exactly that. Santos with the extra point and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. Jones, another shot here after the pick six. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is incomplete. Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play. 
but he cannot pull it in. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing Jones. He's got a man complete. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. And that one results in 35 yards. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. Jones now on first and 10. And he finds Montgomery complete. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. From the 31, Jones. And this is caught. It's Parker. And he'll be brought down at the 27. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Complete Hunter Henry with a grab. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And when you break it down, you know, this was just a thoroughly dominating performance. And I truly thought that we'd have a tight game coming into this one. I think you felt the same way yeah. based on our conversation after the production meeting. But obviously not the case. And how about just how it broke open? You know, you just all of a sudden, whoosh, there it is. This thing is pretty much done. And the crowd stayed with it to celebrate because they're like, let's enjoy watching our team play this well. This is fun.